साईराम स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन सो एज यू नो दैट वी हैड ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड विद लेसन नंबर थ्री डाइवर्सिटी इन लिविंग थिंग्स एंड देयर क्लासिफिकेशन लेट्स रिवाइज वंस अगेन वॉट एवर वी हैव लर्न इन द लास्ट लेक्चर सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर इफ यू रिमेंबर वी हैव लर्न अकॉर्डिंग टू द पीरियड ऑफ द लाइफ साइकल प्लांट्स आर क्लासिफाइड इन टू थ्री टाइप्स वॉट आर द थ्री टाइप्स एनुअल प्लांट्स बाइनियल प्लांट्स एंड पेरेनियल प्लांट्स लेट्स रिवाइज द डेफिनेशन वंस अगेन सो द प्लांट्स विच कंप्लीट्स देयर लाइफ साइकल विद इन वन ईयर दे आर कॉल्ड एज वॉट एनुअल प्लांट्स वॉट आर द बाइनियल प्लांट्स द प्लांट्स हु रिक्वायर टू ईयर टू कंप्लीट देयर लाइफ साइकल वॉट बाइनियल प्लांट्स वॉट आर द पेरेनियल प्लांट्स the plants who can survive for many years they are called as what perennial plants so these are the classification of the plants depending upon the period of the life cycle next as you know that even there are many variety of the plants who can bear the flower and even there are many variety of the plants who cannot bear the flowers so even depending upon the presence and absence of the flowers even plants are divided into two types what are the types of the plants as we have already learned the flowering plants and non flowering plants you can see that the plants that bear flowers are called as flowering plants what are the non flowering plants the plants that never bear flowers they are called as what non flowering plants and one more thing we have learned that there are different habitats of the plants what do you mean by habitat the place where plants live it is called as what habitat so there are many habitats of the plant like you can see that land water marshy area deserts a big tree these are the habitats of the different plants so students till now we learned that that uh, classification regarding the plants so the classification of the plants we have completed till the last lecture so as we have learned about the uh, different variety of the plants in the same manner today we are going to learn about the different variety of the animals also you can see that here in this picture there are many different type of the animal which are usually found in our surrounding like you can see that there are many type of the animal which have live in the land there are many type of the animal which uh, lives in the uh, you know water so you know that different type of the animals have the different body structure their food is different their habitat is different so today we are going to learn about the classification of the animals okay so students you know that even the diversity also occurs in the different variety of the animals okay so different animals have developed different shapes to survive in the environment like for example you know that uh, bears okay so uh, and uh, you know that there are many variety of the animals who live in the uh, cold area so even these bears and etc they have many hairs on their body just to protect their body from the cold temperature and even you know that uh, like you can see that in desert area mostly camels are found to adapt in the hot temperature so depending upon the climate situation the different different animals are uh, situated in the different area so there is a great variety in the body structure of the animals too so even you know that even the amoeba that cannot be seen with our naked eyes even the amoeba is a example of the animal the amoeba that can't be seen with our eyes the huge elephant the small snail the fish that swim in the water a kite that flies high in the sky a house lizard that crawls on the wall all all are the different type of the animal which are mostly found in surrounding and all these animals has different characteristics so all these different characteristic we are going to learn one by one animals have the different body parts also like you know that the animals have head then they have neck portion they have torso torso means what leg portion they have tail also 
not human being but there are certain animals like you know tiger cat dog lion they have the tail region okay so and the limbs for the movement limbs means what leg okay movement the limbs means what legs the legs are provided to the animal for the movement purpose to move from one place to the another place they have various organ system which carry on various functions in their body in this respect too there is a lot of diversity in the animals as well so whatever different diversity of the animal which are found in them we are going to learn about them one by one so you can what we can do here students if you want to see the amoeba what we can do let's take a drop of water from the puddle and place it on the glass side okay and let's observe this glass slide under the microscope what do we see puddle water water means what the lake water where uh, you know a lot of uh, it is contaminated water so when we take the contaminated water when we put it on the slide okay when we observe under the microscope what we can see on that any guesses yeah in the puddle water there will be many variety of the microorganism so when a drop of water from puddle is seen under the microscope innumerable microbes can be seen moving on it microbes mean what microorganism can be seen in the larger number you will see the continuously moving amoeba you all are aware about the amoeba so the continuously the movement of the amoeba can be also seen under the microscope even along with the amoeba the paramecium is also there so the paramecium is also the unicellular animal like amoeba only so you all are aware about what are unicellular animals the animals who are made up of single cell the animals who are made up of single cell they are called as what unicellular animals so may i know the examples of the unicellular animals so paramecium and amoeba these are the example of what unicellular animals okay so students uh now we are the multicellular animal as we are made up of many cell so the animals who are made up of many cell we call it as the multicellular animals so now i want to ask you what is the chain of the bones in the center of our back in our back region if you touch here you can see there are chain of the bones exactly in the center okay so the chain of the bone as we sit straight we can feel the bone structure no so that chain of the bones which is found exactly at the back side region it is called as what any guesses yeah the chain of the bones which is found in the center of the back it is called as what backbone so commonly we call it as a backbone but in science we call it as what vertebral column what we call it as vertebral column so always remember a chain of bones in the center of our back it is called as what vertebral column so the vertebral column is present on back region and because of the vertebral column we are able to sit properly we are able to walk properly and even our body posture is also straight because of the vertebral column so depending upon this vertebral column again the animals are divided into two categories so what are the two categories so like there are many animal who have vertebral column and there are many animal who do not have the vertebral column so depending upon whether vertebral column is present or whether vertebral column is absent we classified animals into two category what are the two category of the animals vertebrates and invertebrates vertebrate means what the animal with backbone the animals with backbone they are called as what vertebrates what are the invertebrates the animals without backbone they are called as what invertebrates now what are vertebrates what are invertebrate let's learn about them one by one so here you can see that students the animals like snakes birds 
fish kangaroo even human being they all have the vertebral column in their body they all have backbone in their body am i right so all these animal they are called as what vertebrate animals what we call them as vertebrate animals so what is the definition of the vertebrates let's repeat after me the animals with a vertebral column are called as vertebrates what are the vertebrates repeat after me animals with vertebral column are called as vertebrates so what are the example of the vertebrates snake birds fish kangaroo human being these all are the example of the vertebrates okay now what are the invertebrates now you must have seen that there are many animal which are commonly found around us like snails cockroaches and earthworm they do not have backbone they do not have in fact the backbone structure so these animal comes under the invertebrate category invertebrate means what the vertebral column is absent in these animals so what is the definition of the invertebrates repeat after me animals without vertebral column they are called as what invertebrates repeat the definition once again animals without vertebral column they are called as what invertebrates so now we have learned that depending upon the vertebral column we divided the animals into two category one is the vertebrates and the second is the invertebrates now again we have already learned in the previous lesson about the reproduction method okay so what is the reproduction we have learned that the producing the another living thing like oneself it is called as what reproduction so there are many animal who uh, produce the similar kind of the animal this process is called as reproduction like cat produces kittens then dog produces puppies the hen rep hen will reproduce chick okay and then human being human beings will reproduce human being only so same species will give rise to the same species so this process is called as reproduction and according to the mode of reproduction again animals are classified into two categories oviparous animal and viviparous animals what are the two category of two categories of the animals oviparous animals and viviparous animals so what are the oviparous animal what are the viviparous animal let's see that one by one so students you have known that uh, a hen lays eggs okay and when hen lays eggs the hen hatches them and after few days the young chick hatch out of the egg am i right so you must have seen that there are many variety of the animal which are found around us they lay the eggs okay so the animals which lays the eggs the animals which lays the eggs they are called as what oviparous animals they are called as what oviparous animals so what are the example of the oviparous animal you can say that here here in this case fish then again you can say that uh, hen then you can say that even snake these are the example of oviparous animals now what are the viviparous animal there are many animal who do not lay egg they reproduce the young one directly like you must have seen that cow gives birth to the calf directly and before that the calf grows within the cow's body human being also reproduces a human being directly okay even you must have seen that cat reproduces the kittens directly okay so that means here in this example these animal do not lay eggs they give birth to the young one directly so these animal are called as what viviparous animals what we call them as viviparous animal so what is the definition of the viviparous animals the animals which give birth to their young ones are called as viviparous animals are called as what viviparous animal repeat once again 
the animals which give birth to their young ones are called as viviparous animals did you understand now so depending upon the mode of reproduction the animals are classified into two groups oviparous animal and viviparous animal i hope so now you understood over here and again students do you know that according to the habitat of the animals again they are classified into many sub type over here habitat means what the place where animals live as i told you there are many variety of the animal where they live differently like some of the animal they live on the land so the animals who live on the land they are called as what terrestrial animals they are called as what terrestrial animals and you know that there are certain animals like fish they live inside the water so the animals who live inside the water they are called as what aquatic animals they are called as what aquatic animals so you already know about what are the terrestrial animal and what are the aquatic animal so terrestrial animal means what the animal who lives on the land okay what are the aquatic animal the animal who lives in the water they are called as what aquatic animal and again there are third category of the animal we call it as what amphibious animals now what is the amphibious animal and what is aerial animal let's see that one by one so students you know that the frog then salamander then toad they live in the both the places like in land also and in water also like the frog it lives inside the water also and frog lives on the land also so there are certain variety of the animal they can live at the both the places on land as well as inside the water so these kind of the animals we call them as what amphibious animals what we call them as amphibious animals so what are the amphibian animal the animals which live on land and water they are called as what amphibious animal what is the example of amphibious animal frog so frog is the example of amphibious animal understood now now you know that there are certain animals like a kite an eagle a crow a butterfly a honey bee all they fly in the air am i right though they live in the different places all these animal though they live in the different places all these birds eagle honey bee they fly in the air so these animal we call them as what aerial animals what we call them as aerial animals so these animals are said to have an aerial mode of life now did you understand what do you mean by the amphibious animal and what do you mean by aerial animal okay so depending upon the habitat also we divided the animal into the four category terrestrial animal aquatic animal amphibious animal and the fourth one is what aerial animal what we have learned today let's revise once again so what we have learned at our back there is a long chain of the bones that long chain of bone we call it as what vertebral column so depending upon the vertebral column again we classified animals into the two category vertebrates and invertebrates in vertebrates vertebral column is present and in invertebrates vertebral column is absent and what else we learned today we learned that according to the mode of reproduction animals again divided into two category oviparous animal and viviparous animal what are the oviparous animal the animal which lays the egg they are called as what oviparous animal what are the viviparous animal the animal which directly give birth to the young one they are called as what viviparous animal understood now and one more concept we have learned that according to the habitat again animals are classified into four category terrestrial animal aquatic animal 
एम्फीबियस एनिमल एंड एरियल एनिमल टेरेस्ट्रियल एनिमल्स दे लिव ऑन लैंड एक्वेटिक एनिमल दे लिव इन वॉटर एम्फीबियस एनिमल दे लिव इन बोथ नेमली वॉटर एंड लैंड एंड एरियल एनिमल लिव एट द डिफरेंट प्लेस बट दे आर एबल टू फ्लाई इन दी एयर अंडरस्टूड नाउ स्टूडेंट्स वॉट वी हैव डन टिल नाउ सो हियर वी कंप्लीटेड द लेसन नंबर थ्री डाइवर्सिटी इन लिविंग थिंग्स एंड देयर क्लासिफिकेशन सो वॉट वी हैव लर्न इन दिस लेसन सो फार लेट्स रिवाइज वंस अगेन सो वी लर्न दैट प्लांट्स आर ऑल्सो क्लासिफाइड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर हाइट and the shape of the stems and then period of the life cycle and the habitat of the plants as we all know and again we learnt in this topic even the animals are classified on the basis of cell structure vertebral column method of reproduction and habitat okay so i hope so student you must have understood the lesson number 3 diversity in animal and again remember one thing always in the living world a lot of diversity is seen in both animals and the plants so every plant and animal is unique we should all make efforts to conserve this diversity in the living world okay so that's why we don't have to destroy or kill any type of the plants and the animal which are found around us we have to protect them and we have to preserve them okay so here we completed the lesson number 3 the diversity in living things and their classification see you in the next lecture bye take care